Hello, in this video, I will be showing you a preview of the new mobile augmented reality software. Augmented reality, or AR for short, merges virtual content with the physical world. In this demo, we will be overlaying virtual information such as social, networking data, user generated content, and advertising with the real world around them. Let's begin by logging into our virtual world, which we like to say is a mirror world of the real world. Here you see we have 3D models of the Georgia Tech campus and virtual content placed around the campus. We have an avatar that represents ourselves and other people experiencing this environment and we can move about exploring the world. The real world is typically captured as a video stream by a camera attached to the mobile device. In this technical preview we will be substituting the live real world with a set of panoramic images placed in the virtual world represented by these bubbles. By entering the bubbles we render the panoramic image instead of the live video feed. In the AR experience we turn the 3D models invisible and place the live real world in the background so that user only sees the additional virtual information overlaid upon the real world. We like to say that this turns the device into a magic window in which we see through it at the real world but additional virtual content is registered upon it. The use of panoramas instead of the live video is done for simplicity in this first video. Soon we will capture the user experience on the mobile device using live video for the real world, GPS for the virtual world position, and the accelerometer and magnetometer for orientation. This demo illustrates how knowledge of the location and surroundings of a mobile user can be leveraged to create virtual augmentations that are integrated with the physical environment to create compelling applications for entertainment productivity, advertising, and tourism. Now that we have a basic understanding of the demo, I would like to point out a few things. First, since we have a real 3D model of the campus that is rendered invisible, we can occlude far objects that are hidden by buildings like, the GT logo is partially occluded by that building. Second, the particle clouds, which could be part of an entertaining scavenger hunt game are appearing from behind that building. Additional content, such as information signs about the building and coupons for local businesses can be placed around the campus, as well as personal information placed by friends like favorite hotspots and data scraped from social networking sites like Twitter feeds and Facebook updates. Now as I run to another part of campus through the virtual world, I would like to point out that while for this technical preview we are only showing the AR experience in predetermined locations where we have taken panoramic images of, if we were to use the real mobile device which incorporates the live video, GPS, accelerometer, and magnetometer combination, we would be able to have a fully immersive AR experience wherever we went on campus. Now that we have moved to the other side of the building we see new content and all the old content has been included as you would expect from an AR experience. More hotspots from my friend and information about upcoming events are shown on the buildings which would be good for new visitors to the campus. And personal content I placed myself about a running trail with important signs of which way to go, what to avoid and maybe the nearest bathroom or water fountain. The virtual world and by extension the mirrored AR world is designed to be an open world to new content by anyone making the application possibilities endless. This concludes the first technical preview of this new mobile AR software. We will soon be coming out with another video of the real user experience on the real device and not too far after that we anticipate releasing this technical demo for the mobile device to the general public to experience the Georgia Tech campus in a completely new way.